And today I'm at the NEC for the Great British Shooting Show. And I can tell you there's some serious security outside there, but the main reason I've come is not for guns, but for swing shots. And here, on the Ember Leaf stand, we find John Jeffries' custom catapults, fully integrated with what these guys are doing. Now right now, of course, we've got hunters hanging off the rafters having a look at all this stuff. I can tell you that it's Joel, I think, there's a Dean as well, on this stand here. But then believe only make stock, let's say, for this show. And that it is a really big chunk. That's not working. Of their yearly doings is what happens here at the uh, shooting show. So, uh, well, that's the, the booth. Let's um, wait a moment till we can get a look in the cabinet, show you some of the stuff. Starting with a close up on an exquisite bit of. Oh, look at that. How do you do that? That's a, uh, a composite, laminate, whatever you call it, resin thing. It's on a Damascus blade that happens to be 1500 layers deep. And, uh, well, I can tell you that that knife is a thousand pounds. This is the high-end cabinet. More Damascus steel. Each of these 500 man hours of work. 900 odd quid. And yet you could win an Inbelief knife for a fiver here on the stand today. Look at these exquisite things. There's one with a green and gold rather than that. Is that pearlescent? Yeah. But what's that on the end? That looks like a slingshot. Let's get over there and have a little look. Alright, um, so can I have a look at the um, desert iron? Uh, yeah. Uh, Kyle, this one here. Yeah, that's a bit darker. Isn't it? Yeah, that 450 yeah. quid is just for the nice. Makes the great. Uh, well. That thing is going to be somewhere between 245 or a bit less. What a piece of kit. The thing is, wait till you see what John's got exhibiting on the end of this here booth. Thing is, it's impossible to walk along the Emberleaf stand without being absolutely transfixed by stuff you see on the way. This is made with woolly mammoth tooth. Look at that. Wow. We might check out the cabinet. We could do straps. Could chuck in a pair of straps. So it's thirty quid each. Yeah. In what happened there? I'm just going to leave. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Right. Yeah. We're chucking some strop kits. Does that come with the paste? Yeah. Yeah. It's a full kit. Yeah. Paste. Paste. The strop itself. It will like a five-car for the special bottle of Embelief branded oil. Yeah. Oh, a little bit more Embelief cred. Uh, that doesn't mean it's the same model. It means that Embelief supply the SAS and the special boat this service. And, oh my God! This is the high end cabinet. Yeah. Fifteen hundred layer. Yeah. Wash horse and Damascus steel. Sixty thousand year old mammoth molar. Hey, apart from the tusks, they were all molars. But what was Emberleaf's high-end cabinet last year? Oh look, in Shop World magazine. <laughs> cool. Is now entirely filled with John Jeffrey's custom catapult. Check this out. At moments like this, I feel like singing the old tune from a program called Vision On. I know, I that. had a little bit called The Gallery. And he used to see all this art. Oh wow, there's another set there, look at that. 650 quid for the full set, including the bespoke leatherware. Oh god, so much want. There's the embroidered John Jeffries custom catapults patch. There's my reflection. Just look at these frames though, aren't they gorgeous? It is, it's like going to uh, Maranello's and seeing Ferraris and Maseratis and all kinds of cars lined up that are so gorgeous it hurts for wanting to own them. 
There's a man himself stood behind here, waiting for me to point the camera at him slowly, worriedly. Mr. George Jeffries. John, how thrilled are you to be here, Guy? It's a stupid question. It's breathtaking, absolute wicked experience. So many people here. As I was like, seeing a few regulars, chatting to a lot more, opening sport up to a lot more people. It's really good, yeah. really, really good. And you've, uh, this is only half past day one, yeah. and you've sold one. Yeah. These guys, of course, I gather it's a big, significant percentage of their yearly turnover is here with this stuff. Yeah. They've been working 14 hours a day, seven yeah. days a week for months. Just give themselves Christmas Day off. Really? Yeah. Nutters. And you two have been putting in similar effort because these are not a little rush job, are they? A, a John Jeffries custom catapult, eh? No, definitely not. It's, it's labour of love. Um, and if I stick the camera right in the edge there, look at this. Tell us, what do you get when you buy a John Jeffries custom catapult? You get your frame. Uh, on the show, you'll get a set of elastic. A band set, yep. Yep, red velvet, uh, carry case, and authenticity paperwork. Complete with your fabulous seal. Exactly. The red wax seal, yep. yes. Awesome, well I hope you have a fabulously successful show. Thank you very much. And uh, not have to take anything home at all. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> that would be good, wouldn't it? And meanwhile, congratulations by being recognised by uh, one of the top Blade Smiths anywhere, so sort I of think. Joel, Dean, thank you so much, geezers. You guys absolutely rock. I'd, I'd given this just to let these guys get away with a wave, but uh, sorry, Joel and Dean, we've actually got a moment where people are off having lunch. Um, and John Jeffries just revealed something to me. Um, how much does a Eurofighter cost? Do you know? <laughs> what a no stupid idea. question. It's, <laughs> it's many, many multi, minutes. many, many millions, isn't it? Um, and these guys could have to bail out. This man's so bored, he's knackered. Um, they could have to bail out somewhere proper hostile, and they have really serious survival kits, don't they? Indeed, yeah. And I gather that underneath the seat of every Eurofighter in the survival kit. That's not, sorry, that's not right. So there's only two. There's only two. Ah. Do you want to start again? <laughs> <laughs> I understand you have even more military. Tell us about that, though, because I'm just fascinated. Uh, what no, is that? We, we've been getting involved with um, the survival school, uh, the, the army. Uh, well, it's, it's combined arms, it's everyone. Yes. Uh, and there's a special survival school down there. Central, and central. We're developing knives for those guys in yep. particular. Um, so it's a military knife, but a non weaponized knife. So it is a survival tool. Yes. Um, and yeah, there's some of the, so there's a few RAF guys that now own them and they have put them in their survival packs under their ejector suits. That is absolutely gorgeous. That's even better. So instead of it being company equipment, it's the product cult of choice. It's personal as well. They get a, yes. a, a, an allowance that they get to spend, and they chose, and they normally get a ten quid mora. Uh, yes. But yeah. Meanwhile, check out the goosebumps. <laughs> you can't pretend that. <laughs> Guys, thank you so so much, All and right. congratulations on your impeccable taste on uh, working with that Jeffrey's geezer. Yeah. Thanks <laughs> once again. There you go. Right, Cheers. Thank you. Thanks.